I had a friend years ago that was an actor, and I said to him one time, I said, what's the toughest part of your profession? He said, oh, he said, that's easy. He said, the critics. He said, when you read the bad reviews, and he said, it took me years to get beyond that so that it didn't devastate me to have the inner resolve to keep on keeping on after a bad review. Well, we all have critics, and your worst critic is the person that you see in the mirror. We constantly criticize ourselves in our own mind and continually belittle ourselves, knocking ourselves down. Leo Bascalia once said this, One can't give what he does not possess. To give love, you must possess love. To love others, you must love yourself. Well, today I'm talking about a critical thing for daily life, and that is self-worth. Sometimes it takes people an entire lifetime to get to the point where they like themselves. I pray that it doesn't take you that long. I want you to see yourself the way that God sees you, and I pray that it happens this week. It says in 1 Timothy 6, verse 6, it says, A devout life does bring wealth, but it's the rich simplicity of being yourself before God. So, I ask you that question. Are you your worst critic? If so, perhaps you should try to be a little bit more understanding of the person you see when you look in the mirror. Millions of words have been printed about ways to improve self-image and to increase self-esteem. But developing and maintaining a healthy self-esteem is largely a matter of doing two things. Number one, behaving ourselves as God tells us that we should. Every day we should strive to be good people. Number two, thinking healthy thoughts, including being grateful for the many ways that God has blessed us. And I'm going to give you a number three also. I'm going to expand this a bit. Finding a purpose in life that pleases our Creator and ourselves. Live large. And I pray that you live with a healthy self-esteem and self-image. I want you to behave as God would want you to behave. I want you to think healthy thoughts, being grateful constantly for everything in your life and for yourself and for the gifts that God has given you, and then to find that purpose that pleases God and yourself. And when you find that, when you find something that you love to do, you'll find that you grow in stature inside of yourself, to yourself. A healthy self-esteem doesn't depend on what we own. It doesn't depend on what we wear or where we live. It depends, my friend, on seeing yourself as God already sees you. God accepts you and loves you just the way you are. And you can be yourself with God. You can be yourself with God. And that is something that is the richest gift of all. You can walk with God and you can just say, here I am. And I have always said, God, mold me into something greater than I am. And when you accept that inside of yourself, there is something special that is working in and through you. And you will develop 
a healthy self-esteem because you're going to know that you're doing the best you can in the moment. God bless you.